Hello everyone. In this talk, we're going to introduce our work on addressing feature suppression in unsupervised visual representations. In contrastive learning, we typically use two views of the same image as a positive pair and other images as negative samples. The goal is to minimize the feature distance between positives and maximize that between negatives. Unfortunately, however, contrastive learning is vulnerable to feature suppression, which makes the network learn useless information. For example, the color distribution of the two augmented views is typically very similar. As opposed to the semantic information, contrastive learning uses color distribution and it does not need to learn the semantic information and that will degrade the performance. People traditionally address this problem using data augmentation. For example, you can use color generating to break the color distribution. So in particular, we can look at the performance of contrastive learning as we remove these augmentations. The performance degrades by about 30% for simpler. Moco and Buell are slightly better, but their performance degrades by 15% in comparison to having these data augmentations. Unfortunately, data augmentation does not really solve the full problem. For example, it does not work for multi-attribute learning. So for example, consider the following images. The background has some objects, and it also has a digit. Supervised learning achieves good performance on both tasks. If we use contrastive learning, the background classification is good, but the digit classification just failed. This is because the background acts as a shortcut, so the network does not need to learn about digits to achieve low contrastive loss. Another example is human face attribute classification. Ethnicity can act as a shortcut for gender and age. This means that we need a solution for this shortcut problem that would allow us to generalize contrastive learning to more general settings. So our idea is to combine contrastive learning with predictive learning. Shortcut is a problem of loss of information in the representations. So the information was in the input, but somehow contrastive learning discarded it. We want to force the representation to keep this information in the input. And the way we do that is with predictive learning by trying to make the representation reconstruct the input. On the other hand, we want contrastive learning to reorganize this information in the feature space to make it easy for classification. Our approach, which we call PRCL, we have two branches. The first branch is contrastive. The second branch is the predictive branch, which takes the same set of images and add a reconstructive task. This framework changes the way we do contrastive learning, can make it robust to shortcuts without having to handcraft data augmentations. Remember this graph where we eliminated these data augmentations in the image net, and we saw that simpler performance drops by 30%, Mocha and Biol performance drops by about 15%. PRCL, on the other hand, achieves good performance even with crop and resize as the only augmentation. For multi-attribute classification, PRCL can preserve information about different types of semantics. Therefore, for cutoff or MNIST, it can learn representations good for both digit and background. For Fairface, it can learn representation that achieves comparable performance as supervised learning on all tasks. To conclude, we analyze contrastive learning as vulnerable to shortcuts. We propose predictive contrastive learning to solve the problem of feature suppression it makes contrastive learning more robust to elimination of data augmentation and multi-attribute classification.